So here we have our paper plate and this is the diameter. Half of this is the radius, we have the center here and we have the whole circumference and you can see that I've cut its half is red and half is purple. So we all know how to find the area of a rectangle, which is the length times the width. But how do, how do we apply this to something that doesn't have any corners? This is what I'll teach you. So here we have, we've cut another plate, the exact same as that up. So we can just put that there. And I've cut them all into eighths, apart from two, which I'm going to put at the top at the bottom to make it a little bit more rectangular. So this is the rough, very rough rectangle. And we know that inside all of this is the area. So if this is the, the width and this is the length, and this, we know, is the radius, meaning the width is the same as the radius. Uh, so, and we also know that the length times the width is the area of the rectangle, uh, and something times the radius is the area of a circle. What else do we know? We know that the whole circumference put together is pi d, or 2 pi r. And if half of the circumference is the length, then we should also know that 2 pi r divided by 2 is pi r, meaning we have now found our length, 2, which is pi r. And if we put these together, then that is pi r squared. So now we're going to find out the answer by measuring the radius, which is 12 centimetres. We get our calculator and we do 12 times 12 times pi under scenarios, two decimal places, 3.14. That equals, so you know that it equals 4. 152.16 centimeters squared. So this, so this here has a whopping area of three of 452.16 centimeters squared. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday to Constantine.